Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram lately, you're probably aware that I have been incredibly busy lately. I am in a musical, I'm in Mamma Mia, and it has been the most exhilarating, fun, amazing privilege to be performing at the moment here in Australia. We're so lucky that we even can. If you can hear the husk in my voice, it's because I've been singing every day for two weeks. We're completely sold out. I'm very, very grateful I'm having the best time but my skin is not. My body is starting to slowly feel the effects of doing eight shows a week and it's showing on my skin, it's showing in my current strep throat. But yeah, I thought today after wearing so much makeup every single day and just putting my body and skin through so much, it was time for a break. So this video is gonna be a little bit of a rest day skincare and makeup. The makeup that I wear, if I still have things to do and want to look a little bit more brighter and awake and alert when I'm super, super tired, but my skin still needs to rest, my skin needs to heal. So yeah, if you wanna see what products I put on my skin on the days that I need it to recover, keep on watching. So this video is in collaboration with the Jojoba Company and I will be using their Jojoba Activating Cleansing Oil today. So this is the Jojoba Activating Cleansing Oil with Mandarin and Australian Jojoba. The way this one works is it turns into sort of like a milky um, emulsion when it is combined with water. So I'm just going to start off by wetting my face. Oh, it feels so good. You guys know I absolutely adore natural skincare brands and products. I have been suffering from quite a bit of dermatitis on my face lately, so I'm really opting for the more natural products with, with ingredients that you know and trust and not too many nasties or chemicals. Oh, I love this. It feels so good. Just gonna get a little bit more water. Products like this just feel really good for your skin. This product is also really good for removing makeup, so it's a great um, cleanser to use at night. And then I'm just going to rinse it off. What I love about cleansing oils is that rather than leaving your skin feeling dry and tight like many cleansers do, this just leaves your skin feeling super moisturized and like you're just getting that added level of moisture, which my skin definitely needs at the moment. So I'm just going to finish that off by popping a little bit of moisturizer on. This one is by CeraVe and it's been my go-to, especially when I've been trying to deal with my dermatitis. I found these products to be really good. At the moment, I'm really trying to make sure that the products that I'm using are super minimal, super light, just good quality, dermatologically tested and recommended. Disclaimer, this little cut here, by the way, um, we had an after party the other night and I kind of got a little bit too into my self block tango rendition and yeah. Okay, next up we're skipping the primer and I'm just gonna go in with some sun protection. I've actually switched my sun protection now to this one by La Roche-Posay and it is 50 plus and it's formulated for sensitive eyes. And I'm just gonna be popping about a pea size amount on my face and that's gonna be my primer for the day. For foundation, I'm going to go in with a new one that I was recently sent by Revlon. It's the Colorstay Light Cover Foundation. I'm going to mix these two shades together to try and get my perfect shade. This one is really big on moisture, which is what I want on my face at the moment. It's supposed to have 12 hour moisture. I don't know if this is going to be the right color at all. It's probably going to be too light. I'll we'll fix that later. And I'm actually going to use my fingers, I think. I think it might be a little bit too light. Oh my god, I think I'm too light. Is this, is this too light? No, it's blending. So this foundation is just a super light coverage. Looks very, very natural. It's affordable. It's by Revlon. It's new. Okay, next up I'm going to go in with just a little bit of concealer, but just under my eyes only. Just to brighten it up. I don't want to put too much more product on my face. I feel like I was doing concealer wrong for years. Oh, the things we learn on TikTok. Actually, I might do a little tiny dab on my nose as well, for good measure. Now just taking a little tiny bit of powder. This one is by Fenty. It's just a super light one and I'm just going to pop that where I put the concealer. Now for some bronze, I feel like I'm looking a little bit like a ghost. So I'm going to go in with this one by Laura Mercier and just use a big fluffy brush to just lightly bronze up the edges. I'm getting super 
chill with my bronzer now. Like I used to, I feel like I've gone right back to like the 2000 bronzer method where you just like kind of go crazy with it and just bronzer entire face up. For a little bit of color on my cheeks, I'm just gonna go in with this multiple stick from NARS. This one's in the shade Orgasm. Dab it on my cheeks and use my fingers to really blend that out. I'm also a big fan of a little bit of blush on the nose these days. And then I'm just gonna go in with some highlighter to get a little bit of a glow on the face. This one is by Fenty. I've been using this side for just every day. This side, if I want a little bit more glam, just add a tiny little bit to the high points of my face. This one is just such a good shade for highlight. It's very natural skin glow. Okay, doing something about these brows now. I'm going in with this Rimmel Brow Pencil and I'm just going to lightly enhance the shape. I don't want them to be too intense. Then I'm just gonna take my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. As you can tell, this one is very well loved and I'm just gonna set those in place. Okay, to finish all this up, I'm gonna go in with a coat of mascara. This one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's the Shani Grimmin collection, this one, but they're all the same. Um, oh, I have been obsessed with this. I haven't even been wearing false lashes for the entire run of my musical at all because this mascara is just that good. Now finally to finish off, I'm gonna go in with some Lena lips. If I don't have like a big fancy event on or anything in that day, I am gonna only wear Lena lips on my lips. I wear this stuff every single day. I'm obsessed with it. I have multiple versions of the product and I just think it is so good for keeping your lips moisturized. It is the 101 Ointment Multi Balm in Strawberry. I am a massive fan of wearing just like lip balms throughout the day. So there you have it guys, that is my makeup finish. It's just a very easy, quick, everyday makeup look that you can use whenever your skin is feeling tired and just in need of nutrients and nourishment. Um, obviously, I would highly recommend just doing the skincare and then leaving the makeup off, but if you do need to leave the house, it's really good to think of using products that do have moisturizing um, components to them and kind of limiting the amounts of other stuff you put on your face completely. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to enjoy my day off and my skin is gonna enjoy its day off. Um, I'm going to go to the doctor and sort out my throat and I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Also thank you to the Jojoba company for partnering with me on this video. I love Australian natural brands and products so any chance to partner with one and I am a very happy girl. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again very soon with another video. Bye!